Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. Today I am working on my temple, which will eventually be a root over temple planting. And my goal for today is to finish this whole upper section of the temple. Yesterday I worked on this piece that goes above the heads. I had to get it out of the mold and I broke it in half, so I had to cement it together. But that's ready for more casting. I've got to make three more of them. And I started working on the upper portion of the temple, making this kind of flower type pattern. I'm going to start today by removing this new piece from the mold. So I'll peel away the mold and I won't be reusing this mold because I only need to make one of these, one of the four pieces for the top of the temple. So there's the bottom of it. So I'll just carefully remove all the plaster scene. And I wasn't sure how this was going to turn out. It was, the mold was a little rough, but these temples are pretty rough too. They're uh, you know, over a thousand years old and they're starting to fall apart. Nature is taking them back. All right, I'm about to remove the middle portion. There we go. So there it is. That's my, my piece. I don't know. Let's try it on top of the temple and see what it looks like. I would say overall it's a little thick. So I might have to slim it down a bit. Here's a look at the top piece so far. I was checking my reference photos and I think I have to sculpt them a little more three-dimensional. Um, yeah, it's hard to tell what exactly that structure is. Maybe it's just part of like a crown or something. But I'll, uh, I'll shape them some more. I'm going to continue shaping the upper piece, but in the meantime, I'm going to start casting these head pieces that go above the faces. So I'll start doing that. I'm just softening my plaster scene up to make a mold. I'll push this in and I'll get three more cast. So there's my mold. I've, uh, I've got to make three of these. So that should keep me busy for a while. I finished shaping the first top piece here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, so I think that looks quite good. So now I'll start casting the piece that goes on top. I'm all ready to cut out the mold for my second piece for the top. So this is just a rough model and I'll, I'll trace around it like I did before and then cut it out like a cookie cutter and then fill it with cement. All right, I'm going to pour my mold for my second top piece. So here I go. I've got my second cement piece for the top drying. Oh, is that ever warm? Definitely warms up that cement when it's curing. Uh, I've also got my one piece above the head drying. That can probably come out of the mold soon. I'll leave it another maybe half an hour to an hour. So I'm going to go on and make the mold for my piece that goes on top, my third piece, and then maybe even my fourth piece. So I'll make these two together. And if I don't decide to use them, I won't, but uh, I'll see how they look. I'm working on the mold for the next section. I just used a toy rubber boot to push out the shapes. And it worked quite well. I'm ready to cast my top two pieces for the temple. Before I cast them, I think I'm going to open up this one and see how it turned out. I'll just make sure I keep spraying the top here to soak that cement like that. All right, let's get this one out of the mold. It seems nice and hard. It's cooled off. So far, it's coming out quite easily. There it is. Flat on the bottom and tapering up. All right, let's see how it looks on top of the temple. Um, I think somewhere around there will be the front. And then my next piece will go on top like that. Uh, rotating the petals around. Something like that. Let me have a look. I think it's looking okay. It'll take a little bit of shaping. It looks a little heavy at the moment, but I think if I file the petals a little more, I think it'll look okay. All right, let's cast the last two pieces for the top. It's going to be quite high. It'll be amazing. This thing's getting large. 
I'm going to take out this headpiece out of the mold now too. It should be plenty dry enough. I'm just peeling back the mold. I gotta be careful because I think I wanna reuse the same mold on the next piece. If I can just get my fingers in here. There we go. Oh, there it goes. Pop. That fits pretty good. It'll take a little bit of filing, but not a whole lot. That's nice. I'm ready to do a lot of cement work. I've got my headpiece I can cast, my two top pieces, and I can cement this piece to the temple. So lots of cement work to do, so I'll get at it. So I'm making all my pieces here. I got the two top pieces cast. I'm working on this headpiece here. Yeah, I think that'll do. Oh, okay. Nice. I stopped for lunch and I think my pieces are dry so I can take them out of the mold. Very exciting. Let's get the smallest one out first. Like that. Well, I think that's okay. We'll see. Now I'll get the second smallest one out. Really stuck down. I might have to get my knife to, to remove it. There it goes. Whew. All right, now I can take the plaster scene away and I'll be left with my piece. There it is. That looks good too. Awesome. Now I can take out this piece. So again, I'm going to just remove this slowly because I want to reuse this mold again. These pieces will be very strong once they're cemented up on the temple, but at the moment they're quite thin. Wow, this thing is not wanting to release. There it goes. Okay. Well, that turned out pretty good too. I'm happy with that. So there's my, oh, oh, don't drop it. There's my two. This one's a little better, but this one's okay. Yeah, that's good. Up top on the temple here, I was playing around with turning this piece upside down. And it looks quite good. And then maybe this piece on top, it's getting pretty high. This piece will be here. That'll be a piece here. I don't know, I think, I think it's starting to look too pointy on the top. So I may not even use these pieces. And if I do, I might just have a broken piece at the top. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I might just have part of this piece up top, but I think I like this better turned over. If I have it like this, and then this one's like this, and then my final piece, let me see that. That's actually looking pretty good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't mind that. If I turn this over and do it like this. No, I like it. The, I like it the original way I thought. Like this. This one like that. And then the top. I think that's the way it's got to be. I, I like that. And it gives lots of places for the tree roots to grow in. There's lots of flat surfaces where crevices yeah, I, th I think that's going to be it like that. I am all ready to cement up the entire top of the temple. I've got all the pieces filed up. I hope that looks good. Yeah, so I'm going to cement it all in place now. Everything's wet, ready to go. So I'll mix up my cement and get to it. All right, here I go got my cement mixed up so 
That one's already cemented on. This one's the one I'm doing. Oh, I just dropped a blob down the middle. That's not good. Waste of cement. Okay, so on it goes and I'm going to rotate it a little bit like that. I think that's going to do it. Looks nice and central. Okay, the next one goes on now. I roughened up these surfaces and they're soaked, so it should go okay. Well, I really squeezed out a lot of cement there. Okay, so I've got that positioned well, and now my top piece. pretty tall this thing again I'll rotate that one okay it looks good from above hopefully it looks good from your view too yeah it looks good from the front I'm happy with that I was looking I only have one more of these headpieces to make I forgot I had that one that was drawing that was cracked in half so one more to make and then I can attach those and that'll really strengthen up the pyramid part. The top, well, hopefully it'll be strong enough. I fixed up my mold here and I'm ready to cast my final of the four pieces. I finished pouring the last headpiece and it went really well. I had the cement at the perfect consistency. It went in the mold really nicely. So I think it'll be a good clean cast. And that's it for the casting today. So I'll let this dry and then we'll come back and start assembling this to the temple. I'm hoping when this temple is all done that it fits in one of those large rectangular clay pots that I made my Chinese building penjing or cityscape penjing in. If it doesn't fit in that kind of pot, I might have to custom make one. There's a channel called Zeta and he has a root over temple planting and he made his own custom pot. I'll put the link to that video in the description below. I've got all the pieces cast for the upper part of the temple and I'm going to custom fit each headpiece to its corresponding head. This one's already fitted. So I'll just have to match them to the head, make them blend in as much as possible. I've got all my pieces fitted to the heads. So I've still got to wait for the one to dry here and then I can fit the final one up and then begin assembling. I'll be uh, adding texture in that to all these pieces. I got to cut all my block lines in them. After assembly, there'll be a lot of work to still go on this upper part. I, uh, I was thinking, should I start the base tomorrow? And I thought, no, I better finish off all this. Okay, it's almost ready to come out now. Here I go. There it is. Yeah, that's a pretty good mold. There's no bubbles or anything. I thought it'd be a good one. I had just the right consistency of cement and it poured in the mold really nicely. Okay, I'll clean that up, fit it to the temple. I'll keep spraying down the temple, getting it ready for its cementing. So making sure all the pieces are nicely soaked. I've got all four pieces fitted now. Everything's soaked down nicely, so I'm ready to begin assembly. So here I go. Probably should have mixed up more cement too. But we'll see. So the idea is to put a lot of cement on 
and then kind of form it to the shape of the temple. I don't know if I mixed up enough cement, but we will soon see. All right, here I go. So I'm going to start at the bottom here. Up we go like that. Got to line it up. Press it in place. Yeah, that's looking good. I do have a few gaps down here that I'll have to fill, so I'll mix up a bit more cement to put in here. But the rest is looking good. It fit up nicely. I think I do have enough cement mixed up. Definitely have enough. I'm just going to rotate it slightly here. As that dries, I will keep working on it. Okay, it's all good up here. This is really going to make this pyramid strong. Be bonded on all four sides. The top will be a little weak, but should be okay. Especially once it gets it a tree up there and the roots are growing all around it. I'll wash my hands and I'll just keep kind of massaging it as it's setting. So I'm just doing a little cleanup on it now. Making sure my details aren't obscured. Kind of washing them out. Okay, I think that's going to do it for this piece. And again, it'll get all these, you know, grooves carved in it with a saw. So it'll look like stone. Right now it looks a little plain, but uh, wow, what a temple. Really makes it look fancy seeing all these little steps here. It's such a complex shape that it kind of overwhelms the eye. And it's hard to see what shape it really is. So I'm glad mine kind of has that same feeling. I'm going to continue putting the rest of the headpieces on the temple. And then we'll come back and have a look at it. I've got my temple pieces all cemented together. It's just drying now. So I'll rotate it around so you can see what it looks like. So some of these pieces are a little higher than others, so I might have to build up a section here or cut away a section on some of them. I think I'll probably cut away a section. And I've got to add some weathering to it. Right now, you know, everything's perfect. I might have to chip away some of these blocks. I've got to cut all my lines in it. So there's a lot of detailing work, and I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'm really happy to get the upper part of the temple all constructed and together. And tomorrow I'll be doing all the detail work on it, which will be really fun. I think it'll really bring it alive. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone.